Welcome back everybody. It is time to get cooking and today we are joined by the Lord of the Leftovers from the Arizona Renaissance Festival and we are making Irish French toast. It is a strange concoction that uses an Irish cream liquor of whatever brand you prefer, fresh eggs, and I prefer a French bed, bread. You mix it up in here, you soak it there, and then you just uh, cook, it up, cook it up in the pan. It's as simple as that. And when did the Renaissance Festival start? Oh, we just opened last weekend to a marvelous crowd. We have some new acts this year and some marvelous new shops have opened up. And the feast this year, oh my Lord, the food this year. I, I did not think they could conquer the food from last year, but Ooh, we do. Hey. Oh, I just <laughs> leaned on something I shouldn't. Isn't that amusing? Oh, and gentlemen, I think you all should know that she's actually as pretty as she looks on camera. Aww, I just want you to know. You. Well, you, it is Valentine's Day, so you have to say something sweet like well, that. Well, it, I wouldn't <laughs> lie to the gentlemen out there. They might find out. So. <laughs> and then the Renaissance Festival runs through what date? We are running to April 1st this year. It'll be a marvelous time for all who come out. I do swear so. I went last year and I had a fantastic time, but for folks who have never been, what would you say is the must-see event? Well, most people who've never been must see a joust, of course. But those of you who like to shop, we have wonderful things like the cups that I did bring with me and the rings I wear on my hands and the clothes that I am wearing, all of that. And then for acts, we have some comedy people this year, some new ones that have just made you merry. And they're a little bit hard to find because they are basically traveling the streets. But, oh, they are funny people. So there are many things you might enjoy this very year. Do you recommend that people get on the website first and sort of plan oh, out their trip? If you can get on the website first, it is overly recommended because part of what happens is that you could, if you liked, if you were to shop us, spend the day doing nothing but shopping, or you could spend the day doing nothing but seeing comical shows, or you could spend the day, as I do, eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, the food there is delicious, and there is plenty to do, so you could go, and kids, there's plenty to do for kids, too, oh. but there are also some things maybe not quite so appropriate for kids. Some of it, such as my feast hall, is recommended for the adult audience. We have mermaids, though, that are almost entirely beautiful mermaid creatures that the children will love My to see. My daughter loved that last We have year. a fairy floating around about. We have the jousting, which is suitable for children as well. I, so many things. It's overwhelming. And of course, there's jugglers, and there's a group called Clan Tinker who juggle and make very merry. The children love that. So how long do we need to cook this, you think? I think... I think this one is prepared. Forgive my little finger there. If you would care to. Oh, sure. Let's see. Tell me if you think it's done enough. It's perfect. A little hot. <laughs> <laughs> a little toasty. If you would like the recipe for this, you can find it on our website, kvoa.com. We'll be right back.